morning, kindergarten. Today is Monday, May 4th. And I am so excited. If you like Star Wars, this is one of those days that people talk about because when you say May 4th, it kind of sounds like may the force be with you. So a lot of people call this Star Wars Day because it kind of sounds like it. If you say that this is may the 4th, it sounds like may the force be with you. So happy Star Wars Day! If you don't know what Star Wars is, that's okay. I actually haven't seen any of the Star Wars movies. So if you don't know what it is, that's okay. I don't either. Today, we're going to be talking about a lot of different things in our morning work. We're reviewing a lot of skills, so we're going to be practicing some of those again, including our tens and ones. We're gonna look at counting by tens, and we're also going to be looking at syllables, which is when we clap the beats in a word. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and practice each of those things now, and then we'll get started with our morning work. Let's go ahead and start first by clapping the beats in a word. This is what we call syllables. Can you say syllables? Good job, syllables. It's a silly word. Kind of sounds like a silly word when we say syllables. Well, when you clap a word, you're going to clap how many beats there are. So like in the word elephant, we would go elephant. How many syllables did that word have? Three, good job, because we clapped elephant. How about the word rabbit? Rabbit. How many syllables did that word have? Two, good. And then there's the word cat. Cat. Ooh, that one tried to trick us. It's only one clap. It's only one syllable. We don't go cat, right? We don't go cat. No, it's just cat. Those are syllables. We're also going to be looking at tens and ones today, and I need to grab a marker. And when we look at a number, let's say we did the number 13, and if we write it out, our first number, that tells us how many tens we have. So we would have one ten, and our second number tells us how many ones we have. So we have one ten and three ones. But sometimes it's going to try to trick us. For instance, if we had a number like the number seven, wait a second, does that mean I have seven tens? No. The ten spot comes before. Do I have any numbers there? No. So I have zero tens and seven ones. We're gonna be looking at that today, together today in our morning work. Let's go ahead and count by tens really quick. Just review it one time. Let's do our alligator crocodile voices. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's look at our morning work together. For morning work today, you're going to be counting items. Then you'll write how many there are and you'll look at the tens and ones in that number. And then you'll do the same for this box. This is one that's going to try and trick you with how many tens and ones we have after you write the number. In this box, we're going to be counting on. So after two, then comes the number three, four, and keep practicing. Then down here again, you're going to be looking at tens, ones and how many there are in all. So again, we have one full 10 frame, so we'll have one 10, then we have three ones, and then you'll have to count them all together to see how, how many we have in all. Or if you know another trick, you can figure out how many we have in all. In here, you're gonna count by tens and write how many sticks we have in each of those. Then on the back, you're going to be coloring words that have the same beginning sound. So we have a boot, bell, rainbow, robot. Then you're gonna write the, same, the beginning sounds for these words, the volcano and pizza. You're gonna trace our sight word come and rewrite it two times. And then for this box, we are looking for words that end with this sound. So let's sound it out together. 
Because it's got the sneaky E at the end, this O is going to say its long vowel sound, so it's going to say O's. So we're looking for words that end with O's. Hose, robe, nose, note, rose. Color the words that end with O's. In this box, you're going to be clapping the syllables in our word crab. And then this is a picture of a can. You need to circle the word that spells can. That's your morning work for today. For math today, you're going to be doing the same activity we were doing last week, where we're counting our 10 frames, and so therefore we're counting by tens. Last week we started it and went 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 100. And then after doing that for two days, we started at 100 and we counted backwards. 100, 90, 80, 70, and so on and so on. Today, we are going to be doing our numbers out of order. So we're going to have to count our 10 frames and count by tens to see how many we have in each box. Let's take a look at the first two together and then you'll finish the sheet on your own. All right, let's take a peek at the first box together. So because our 10 frames are full, we know that we're going to be skip counting by tens instead of going one, two, three, four, and counting each of the dots. That would take us a long time. So instead, we'll skip count by tens. So help me out here. 10, 20, 30, 40. How do I write my number 40? Good job, it's a four and a zero. Remember, counting by tens means they're all zero the hero numbers. Now, after writing our number 40, we need to count how many 10 frames we have filled up. So let's count the tens. We have one 10, two tens, three tens, four tens. So on this line, we're gonna write our number four because we have the number 40, but that means we have four tens. Just like when we were doing our morning work, when we look at this first number, that tells us how many tens we have. We have four tens. Do we have any ones? Nope, so we have zero ones. Let's count this box together, counting by tens first. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. How do we write the number 90? Good job, it's a nine and a zero. How many tens are in our number 90? Let's count the tens and let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine tens. Go ahead and finish this paper on your own. For phonics this week, some of you are working on the digraph SH. S normally says SH says But when we put them next to each other, they don't say S. They make a new sound. And the new sound when we put S and H together is the sound SH. Like be quiet, baby Maverick's trying to sleep. Others of you are working on sneaky E. This is a new group this week though. And so just like our group that was working on it last week, we remember that when sneaky E comes sneaking in, he makes that vowel say its long vowel sound. So this word is the word k-ap, k-ap, cap, like a hat you wear. But if sneaky E sneaks in, then he steals that short vowel sound and makes this A say A instead of A. And he doesn't say anything, he stays silent. So this becomes the word k ape, cape, like something a superhero wears. Others of you this week are working on our L blends. And an L blend is when we have an L that comes after another letter and therefore it says a slippery sound. And what I mean when I say that is I mean it slippers right together. And so instead of it saying b, -l, it says bl, 
slides right in like you're sliding down blue or gl instead of saying gl it says gl like glide through our sounds pl pull like i like to play with you outside and sl sl let's slide through our blends so you're going to be working with blends that have an l as their second letter go ahead and practice your phonics Many of you for reading are getting a new reading level today. All of you will be getting a new reading level at some point this week. Some of you have a few passages left in the old level. If again, if it's a passage you've already read, then do free reading for today. If not, then I want you to read your reading passages. Now you're each getting to be better readers, so your reading passages are getting longer. Again, I want you to read it three times each day. And the reason for that is it just helps you to have that extra practice with your reading because the best way to become a better reader is to read each day and to challenge yourself to read something that's a little bit hard. So it's okay if these are challenging as you start a new level. After you read, you'll answer the comprehension questions just like we've been doing. And then on the back today, we have a secret sentence and after you find the beginning sound of each of these pictures, then you'll read your sentence and make sure it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, then definitely go back and see if you can find a mistake you made somewhere. Once your sentence makes sense, then I want you to write that sentence on this line again, just like we've been doing. Let's go ahead and look at these pictures up close, just in case you have any questions. Hammer, egg. Glue, octopus, train, igloo, nine, table, octopus, tree, horse, envelope, rain, elephant, door, volcano, axe, net. Go ahead and work on that paper now. We will be starting your writing for this week tomorrow. So please don't do anything yet today. If you wanna peek and see what we're going to be doing, you can look, but don't get started yet because I don't want anyone to make an accidental mistake. This week on our Zoom call, we're going to have show and tell. <gasps> so you are going to get to pick one item, only one because if everybody picked 10 things, we wouldn't have enough time. So pick one thing that you want to show and tell about. You can even show and tell us about somebody else in your house. You're gonna be showing and telling us something about a noun. Remember, a noun, a noun is a person, place, or thing. If you wanna take us to a place, then you'll have to make sure that you can zoom from whatever place you take us to. You can show us a person or you can show us anything. You're gonna be telling us why you like it and what it is and you're gonna tell us about it and describe it. I can't wait to see what you share on, on show and tell on Zoom this week. We will be Zooming on Thursday morning this week. So it'll be on Thursday at 10.30. Make sure and pay attention to your emails for your Zoom invite. I'll see you then. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.